Let's begin our tour of Northampton Castle. We start on the present day site of Castle Station. You can see the last remaining structure from the castle, the Poston Gate. It was moved and reconstructed here during the building of the station. But the story of Northampton Castle begins long before that, with an early Saxon settlement next to the River Ned. This led to the establishment of St Peter's Church, shown here on the right. After the Norman Conquest, William the Conqueror ordered the Earl of Northampton to build a castle here, which began as a series of extensive earthworks, leading to the creation of the North, Central and South Baileys, next to the Mott of Castle Hill, the site of the first keep. Later, the keep was moved to the Central Bailey and surrounded by a timber palisade. At this time, a huge retaining wall was built along the western side, shoring up the earth bank and providing stable foundations for stone walls. Let's take a closer look at the stone castle. We enter from the north, through an impressive barbican, crossing the drawbridge and surrounding ditch, and into the outer ward of the central bailey. Enclosed by thick high walls and round towers, the stables were housed here, and you can see the postern gate in its original position. The castle proved very popular with monarchs. We have six recorded royal visits between 1142 and 1176, and later King John was known to have visited over 30 times. Now let's head through to the inner ward. It opens out to a number of buildings, the kitchens on the left, the Queen's chambers straight ahead, and the impressive Great Hall. It's in this building where King Henry celebrated Easter in 1122, and Henry II held a great council in 1157. But the most famous event to have occurred under this roof was surely the trial of Thomas Becket, the Archbishop of Canterbury. He was held at the castle in 1164 before fleeing under cover of darkness to France. Becket wasn't the only distinguished prisoner, however. William the Lion, King of Scotland, was imprisoned here in 1174. As we continue our tour, note the King's Chamber straight ahead, and also the narrow alleyways between all the buildings. We head now to the back of the chapel, where kings would have taken service. This chapel, and indeed all of the castle, would surely have been richly decorated. In fact, if you go to St Peter's Church in Mayfair today, you can see some examples of fine Norman carving and artistry. The castle was extended and repaired in 1177, 1185, and again during the reign of King John. King John spent over £300 on it and moved the royal treasury here, but he had to surrender the castle during the signing of the Magna Carta. Parliaments were held at the castle until 1381. In 1662, as a punishment for Northampton's siding with the Parliamentarians, King Charles II ordered the castle slighted, and the walls were pulled down. The keep remained in use as the county jail until 1675. By 1729, the site had become an orchard, planted with cherry trees by the hazel rigs, and the remaining stone was carted off by the townsfolk. Here we see the 1879 survey by E.F. Law. This outlined the contours of the earthworks, the ditch, and the last surviving part of the Bailey Wall. Earlier that year, the site had been purchased by the London and North West Railway. The river then was moved, and the remaining earthworks were systematically destroyed during an extensive excavation. Finally, the ground level was lowered to make way for the modern station buildings. Subsequent excavations have shown that there are still archaeological remains under the grass, and there is much left to discover about our castle through archaeological investigation. The Friends of Northampton Castle are lobbying to ensure that this work gets done. Let's take a final look at the castle, this time in modern context. As you travel down St Andrew's Road, with Castle Mount and Chalk Lane Car Park to your right, you're literally travelling through the walls of Northampton Castle, into the central bailey, and back out through the defensive walls that kept the castle secure. As we turn towards the car park, you can imagine what might have been the once great Castle of Northampton. This virtual tour has been presented by the Friends of Northampton Castle. For more information, visit northamptoncastle.com or check us out on Facebook. Thanks for watching.